Welcome to the Any Noise Experience Podcast, Endurance Noise and Random Musings. It's Sunday, August 30th, 2020. Just got done with a 90-minute walk run, did our kettlebell, and now I'm uh, out in the backyard, and I'm going to be messing around with my bicycle today because I got a Wahoo RPM Speed and Cadence thingamajig. I'm out here doing a product review. I got this RPM Speed and Cadence from Wahoo. Um, these are all the things that came with it. Um, the box was all beat up, thank you UPS. So you got these two sensors, one says cadence, one says speed. So the speed will obviously go on the wheel, the cadence will go on the shoe or the uh, arm, kind of the pedal arm, I can't even remember what the th terminology of bikes are. You would think I haven't been doing triathlon since 1980. Um, some really easy to use instruction manuals. And the pieces, these pieces here to put it onto the crank arm is what it's called and some little uh, clips here. So I did the first step, download the app, the Wahoo Fitness app. That was real simple as always. And then it says to activate, shake the sensor. And that actually worked pretty good, paired the sensor and all that. And then of course it looks like the exact same instructions here because you also activate the cadence one. So the speed was up here, the cadence was here. I guess you can also use an element bolt uh, cycling app thing. And then you basically pair it onto the crank arm or your shoe. I probably will do it on the crank instead of the shoe because I'm, oh, well, I'm not sure. Maybe I will do it on the shoe since I may ride the bike sometimes outside. And then of course the speed one goes on the uh, hub. Uh, I guess you definitely have to put it on the back hub. So I will be putting that together later on. But first I'm waiting for my breakfast. The silver lining of COVID is that Blanca has been cooking a lot more often. In fact, we've been having breakfast, some huevos rancheros here. So after I have my huevos rancheros, I'll get back to the assembly of the Wahoo device for my bicycle. So to put the cadence sensor on, you can either use this little sticky thing, the 3M, and stick that to your crank arm and then stick the sensor, which I have in the rubber little container. And that seems like a recipe for disaster because eventually this sticky thing will probably not be sticky and then you will lose this sensor. And I wouldn't want to do that. So then you can also put it on the crank arm and you can use this thing, the, the cadence thing. I put it in here, it's this little rubber um, attachment. And then you use the zip lock ties and then it'll be on there securely, which seems to make a lot more sense. Or you could put it on your shoe. And then you also have to do the speed and the speed comes in this thing. I put it in here, it's rubber, and you uh, gonna put it on the hub of your wheel. So next step, I'm gonna try and attempt so, to do that. Mr. Moo is inspecting our work. Putting on the cadence thing wasn't too difficult. Zip ties are pretty simple. Poor Mooshu, he's 13, 14 years old. But putting on this thing in the hub was a pain in the butt because it's obviously got to be tight, but to get your hands in there is difficult. Um, you know, because we took the wheel off course. You got, you know, the, the gears here, the spindle there, and then with this uh, disc brake, that's probably why it made it more difficult. Yes, how about you, Molly? You thought it was difficult? Yes. So thankfully, Blanca was able to get her hands in there much better than me because my hands were just too big, and plus I like broke my hand and I broke my thumb, so doing stuff like that doesn't work, but we now have it on it's linked up to the internet and we'll once i get on my trainer we'll see how it works so we got the wahoo cadence on the uh crank arm eventually got the uh speed on the hub of the wheel took a little wa work but blanca was able to get it on then i uh got on my bike fired up the phone, put on Swift, and with a little bit of difficulty, I finally paired up, but not too much difficulty. I had to put in the tire size. It took a little bit, it took a minute or two for it to find the sensors, but that seems to be the case. It always takes a little bit to pair them up. Got it paired up. Next thing I know, I'm riding the bike on the Swift. Shows my watts. It's a pretty old school version of it, of course, because I don't have one of the fancy bikes, but it will do, and I'm looking forward to putting in miles on my bicycle uh, this next year because I'm doing the race around the world, the circumpolar race that Laz has come up with, which starts on September 1st. And I'm doing the division where you can swim, bike, run, kayak, and all that. So that's the plan. 
and so I highly recommend. So far, the Wahoo has worked. I mean, I get why it was hard to put it on that back wheel, but you know, you don't want it flying off. So until next time, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.